Pantazi. A while back I brought you a film called Seungjin and uh, we did the Black Tiger Blood Attacks. Now in that uh, kata there's a movement that starts in this position, it comes up this way, clenches the fist and then pulls out to the side and then goes into this, uh, this posture and this hand action. Now those are the 6G hands and I related how those um, damage the blood shichin of the um, bubishi. And I wanted to get into that concept a little bit more, but with a different kata, kata kusanku. Now, we all know kusanku starts from this position, comes up to head level, comes around with the chop before it goes off the two sides. Now, that uh, action, if you look at it carefully, can mimic the same uh, thing as the seunchen, okay? Again, this is the, uh, the se seunchen form, okay? It's depicting the lower parts of the rib cage and has the rib cage um, splits, that's where the internal organs were, okay, or are. And um, the attack is up underneath the rib cage with the blood pool hand, one of the six G hands of the bubishi. Well, the same basic idea, okay, or excuse me, and once you've come up, you're attacking the, um, the, the arteries of the neck and you're grasping and pulling down. I'll do a little expose a little bit later in this film for the Patreon and Platinum subscribers so you understand what I'm talking about there. But um, if the same action as this of the Seuchen can be this uh, depicting the same thing, the organ in this area, because it starts here, it rises to the head, just like the Seuchen did, comes around, and then there's the attack, okay? And then you can go to either side, meaning that it's uh, balanced on either side. But let me give, let me give you another example of that, um, that blood attack posture. Now, there are um, a couple really great blood targets of the, the human head. Maybe these two are, are, are in those exact locations, if you're thinking about it, okay? And if you look at this camera right now with the re uh, representations of the fingertips being those targets, you see two of the blood shichin, okay, of the bubishi. Now, when that comes around, you're coming into this position with the chopping hand using the iron sword into the iron palm. Well, what happens if you went into the grapple position? And again, I do a lot of work out of the grapple position. And that's to grab the, the person's head, turn the person's head, and then pop it one. Okay? Doesn't matter what hand you're going to be applying it to. And it could go to one of those blood shichin. Okay? And if that didn't work, once you've got the person's head here, you could quickly twist the neck, snapping it to either side, depending on how, how you caught the guy on this side or over on this side. So when you're doing the, um, the Kusan Ku now, you can think of not only just looking at the, the moon or the sun or whatever you're thinking about there and doing this as a destructive force, how you're attacking the blood gates of the human head and learning to quickly end the situation with an opponent. That's Kusan Ku, sure and rule and many different other styles. Study this form. It's a brilliant form. It's an old form and it's a well-revered form. Time to look deeper into it.